Hey guys, happy first of the month. So today I'm gonna be sharing, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm pointing everywhere because I don't know where you guys are watching this from, but I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I've been absolutely obsessed with in the month of April. I like to share my favorite beauty items, fashion, and some kind of lifestyle wellness things that kind of have improved my life during this month. So let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna start, because I know you guys are all wondering what is on my lips. I don't know if you guys are wondering or not, but I'm going to tell you right now. So I've already mentioned these before and I'm still a huge fan of the Tony Moly Lip Tone Water Bar Get It Tint. There's like 10,000 names on here. Tony Moly Lip Tone Get It Tint Water Bar. So I already shared with you the red one, the orange one, and this month or this past month, I finally picked up this berry tint, which I had been eyeing. This is what it looks like. It is so gorgeous. Obviously, it just gives you like a nice little wash, but you can definitely build it up. I like to plant it right here. And even if you like do this, just to fade it out even more. It's just so pretty. I love it. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I love to kind of like match everything together, like wear really cohesive, complementary tones together. This one, I have been really, really loving wearing it with cloud paint. I shared that in my March favorites. So it's the Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Haze. Those, like that together is so beautiful. I, let me just show you so you know what I'm talking about. That way you don't have to like, go back into my March favorites and watch that, but it's this. So I shared this last month, and these two together have been a winning combo. So I have been absolutely obsessed with this conditioning collagen lash primer, and it is by the brand Lash Food. So Lash Food actually sent this to me. It's been a while since I received it, but in the month of April, I have been really like going in with it. Look at my lashes, you guys. I know they're long naturally, but they are like literally touching my eyebrow. Like that is insane. This has definitely enhanced them a lot. Like I know they're long, but honestly, my eyelashes never touch my eyebrows. And it's just a lash primer, so it's white and you look kind of like creepy. You have like white lashes and it looks kind of cool in a way. But then I just go in with any of the mascaras that I have and it's like, Wow, and I know it's been making a difference, like it's not just in my head, because people that see me on the daily, they're like, your lashes look longer every single time, it's because I have this on, and they're like, how? But they don't know my secrets. You guys do. So my next favorite, this primer by Dr. Brandt. So it is the Pore No More Pore Refiner. It is one of those like silicone mattifying primers. These ones, it really smooths everything out. I really, really love that because I need help here and here. So that's kind of where I just apply it. It is mattifying and that's one thing that I don't really love about it, but I feel like it does still allow me to have a globe since I only use it where I need it. I feel like it makes my foundation go on so smooth. It just fakes the funk of what's really under, what's really under my makeup. It's what I'm wearing under my makeup right now and I just feel like everything looks you know? So moving on, my next favorite is this cute little hand lotion. It is the Skin Food Gummy Bear Jelly Hand Cream, and it is in the grape flavor. They have like a few different, not flavors, did I just say flavor? I'll be the first one to say I hate anything artificial, like fruity smelling when I pass by Bath and Body Works. I mean, I know they've upped their game, but I'm just so scarred from all those like sweet, like watermelon, like I don't like them, but this... I don't even, oh my god, I'm like going ham. I absolutely love it. It reminds me of childhood. And honestly, let's be real, I love it more because the packaging is just so freaking cute. I'm such a sucker for any of this. I'm like a kid at heart, I swear. Like this just makes my soul so, so happy. And when I see it in my bag, I'm like, Ugh. let me just moisturize my hands real quick. Actually, the hand lotion is really, really moisturizing. So at least it works too, you know what I mean? So cute. So this next favorite is kind of an old favorite. It is the Neutrogena Rain Bath Shower Gel. I want to take a shower every single day and night because of this. It's very like fresh, yet it kind of has a, I don't want to say masculine, but kind of like a masculine 
type of scent to it but like super super fresh and earthy in a way it's like herby I don't really know how to describe it I hope that's good enough for you guys to understand where I'm trying to transport you to it just makes me want to have like an outdoor shower because it feels like you're showering with nature like who's with me who wants an outdoor shower I do so moving on is another favorite well, duh, these are my favorites, right? So moving on to like my wellness type of favorites. So I have been loving these little moon juice satchels. They call them dust, but they're herbal like supplements. You can add into your smoothies, to water if you want. You can add in to juices, to coffee, which is what I have been doing. To be honest, at first I thought it was just kind of like an aesthetic thing. Like they're so cute and you know, it's like beauty dust and spirit dust. And like here I have the brain dust and sex dust. Power dust is my absolute favorite. I think I'm going to buy the little jar they sell them in like you know not just like a one-time little pouch like this they have like ones that you can scoop out so I definitely want to pick up the power dust so usually when I have my coffee at home I'll have like a hot coffee and I'll put in a little bit of coconut oil and then I'll put cinnamon so lately what I've been doing instead of using cinnamon I've been using these little packets because they're kind of like sweeteners they have stevia in it but they also have all these other nice herbs to just give you added benefits. For instance, brain dust, it helps you focus, it helps with memory. I think it's great for you guys who are in school. It'll help you on your test. I don't know. You guys should try that out. I'm so obsessed with it and it's like so cute too, you know? So yeah, the power dust I've been really loving. I did feel a jolt of energy. First time I used it, I was a little bit like, hmm, I have a lot of energy to begin with. So I was not too sure. Most of these you can see right away, like instant, like you're like, oh yes, my energy's up. But the beauty one, that's definitely one that you're gonna have to keep taking to see like those kind of like glowy results that they're promising. So moving on to another favorite is this book called Eat Pretty by Jolene Hart. I really love the way this book was written. I know we've all heard that phrase, you are what you eat, but this book, it just really made me want to put it into practice. And I feel like the author was speaking my language. She's actually a beauty editor. I don't know if she still currently is. And I feel like that's why I can kind of understand the way this book was written. The way she wrote it and broke down each like food group, each vegetable each fruit and the benefits of what those fruits and vegetables and foods are going to give you i'm like so excited when i eat now because i'm like oh my gosh if i have this kale like it's going to help with my skin it's going to do this 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 and that so i get excited to eat those foods whereas before i'm just like yeah this is healthy like cool so the way i have been using this book i've definitely put it into practice but i haven't like cut things out at all i'm just more conscious of what i've been putting into my body and i have upped the kale in my life dramatically like i have kale every single day and a lot of you guys in my last videos have been commenting how glowy i look and i really believe it's like the veggie intake that i've upped into my diet that that's why I'm like glowy or whatever. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. It can be difficult, you know, to do like a diet lifestyle change. So she just makes you feel like excited to introduce these foods or implement these foods into your diet. So I've been loving this book a lot. So some fashion items that I have been loving in the month of April has been yellow and that is crazy because I never thought that I looked good in yellow so I definitely get these more like mustardy type of yellows I also have like this kind of a yellow like more of like a goldy yellow I love the way it looks with I'm just gonna stand up here for a minute um, I really love the way it looks with this type of wash of jeans and actually another <laughs> hey guys so actually another fashion favorite of mine has been H&M jeans like they have some cool jeans you guys you have to look I'll do a blog post so you guys can see all the different H&M jeans because oh I bought a few of them and they're all super amazing okay let me show you like look at these like they're so cool so yeah I actually get ready head to toe guys for you some jewelry items that I've been obsessed with are like statement earrings again I'm sure you guys have been seeing this a lot like this trend even if I were to like put my hair up I was actually gonna put my hair up today and like do something like that like especially when it's off the shoulder or you have like a collar oh I think it's so cool to have really statement pieces but what's really cool about 
statement earrings is even if your hair is down they still kind of peek through I've been really really loving that again I'll leave like a little blog post and kind of show you some of my favorite statement earrings that you guys can pick up too these are actually just from forever 21 and the cheap ones are nice actually because they're so cheap and like light there's no weight to them so your ears don't hurt at all actually I would say in this case get the cheap ones. So I promised you guys that I would leave you my Spotify playlist every single month and I, <laughs> I don't have a lot of songs. I have one for you but I don't have too many songs on that playlist so the playlist is named, it's just like an emoji, the little chick hatching out of an egg. I don't know, we'll roll with it. I have like some old favorites, that Aaron Carter song, oh my god, sooner or later I can't get enough of that song makes me so happy. I've been like listening to it on repeat and it's so funny because I tweeted it. He retweeted me and I was like, damn, if only I was 12, I'd be like, take that Lizzie McGuire. I'm surprised he retweeted that because I was kind of throwing him a little bit of shade. So the reason why I don't have like an extensive playlist is actually because I've been listening to a lot of Audible. So Audible are audiobooks. I've been in my car a lot lately and I've been sitting in traffic a lot. So I have a lot of time to listen to some stuff. I'm going to be in traffic at least let me learn a little bit so I picked up a few like business books keys to success that kind of thing I really love those types of books so the one that I'm currently reading is by Phil Knight and it's called shoe dog he's the founder of Nike so his story is so fascinating to me I still have a bit to go I think I have like six hours left of listening to do but I really really love audible because it has allowed me to check off so many books that I had been wanting to read but I just I don't read fast enough because I generally read at night and then I'll get sleepy I'll you know knock out and I don't get very far in my books so if you guys are into audible audible actually sent me a link let me look through my email they sent this to me so long ago but I just you know I didn't want to share it with you guys I'm like let me pick up a few books to see if I really really love it I'm obsessed guys like that's all I've been doing is listening to audible even when I get ready in the morning here at home I'll just put on whatever book I'm listening to and it's so nice I'll I can't find it in my email but they did send me one a long time ago so I'll have that listed and you basically can get a free audible if you're new to audiobooks I would suggest picking up someone that is funny <laughs> like a comedian or something the number one that I always suggest is Aziz Ansari Modern Romance he is a game changer in the audiobook world oh my gosh it's so funny I read the hard copy of Modern Romance when it first came out I was like on pre-order like I love Aziz Ansari you guys know this if you're familiar with my videos so read the book but I prefer the audiobook like it's hilarious you guys have to pick up that book and it's not just jokes and stuff like that there's actually a lot of like psychology and like a lot of data and information about dating in our generation now so it's super interesting but I mean it is Aziz so it is super hilarious and you just like want to hear him talk so I definitely prefer the audio to the actual book. My friend Christy, I think she's currently still listening to it and she was just like, oh my gosh, like it's so funny. Like she keeps like texting, like she's cracking up. And she also got into Audible, so she also listened to Amy Schumer the girl with the lower back tattoo. It was in one of my favorite videos and she was like, I don't understand how anybody could read this. And like I read it and I absolutely loved it, but I totally understand what she means by that because, you know, Amy is a comedian and you want to hear her tell her story. So I totally get that and I do feel like comedians are such good storytellers so it's almost like you would rather listen to them. That's another one that I would recommend. I haven't listened to it but I definitely trust Christie's recommendation because yeah. So that is the end of my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope you guys are doing well. I always say that. I really hope you guys are doing well. But let me know in the comments below. Like, say what's up, you know? So I will meet you in the comments section below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. I just feel like a mummy a little bit. If you guys want those, you know, look at my, this is what I mean. This lip stain. It ain't going nowhere. Damn. Horny goat weed. What the hell? Is that why they called it sex dust?